Oh, guys, if I were a more modest woman, I would probably never be able to tell you my love story. Yes, the kind of love that would shake even young Amazons who saddled their frisky horses, and I withstood the onslaught of a real man, of whom I dreamed all my life, and what can I say, I still do, because we have frequent and, most importantly, regular dates. I will tell a little about myself. My name is Camilla, I am 59 years old, I am married and for my age I am still a lady, where to go, because outwardly I am all and my mother, quite famous in our city theater and film artist. But only in her footsteps I, unfortunately, did not follow, I did not have such talents, but still I was not lacking in intelligence, so with ease, not without short skirts of course, graduated from university, and then just literally crossed the street and thanks to the right connections of my mother with a stroke got a rather prestigious position as a teacher at the marine school. It was there, a dozen years later, that I met my future husband John. I was in no hurry, even in those distant times I thought that a bird in the hand was better than a crane in the sky, so I spent a long and fruitful time choosing my life partner. John was my pupil, and I must say that he was not a very capable pupil, but the boy, despite his young age, had a real masculine strength and no less impressive charisma. I soon had the honor to make sure of it, having stayed with him for one evening in an empty classroom to fill in the gaps in John's knowledge. Before I knew it, I was in his arms. From that day and began my romance with my future husband, which has lasted for about 30 years. We managed to get married in his student years, as after it could be too late and look for my beloved somewhere on the vastness of the world's oceans I had no desire, so I tied John with me a strong sea knot before my husband was sent to work as a third assistant captain on some rusty ship, furrowing the vastness of the seas. So my husband and I lived many years of happy married life almost side by side. Like any faithful wife, I waited patiently for my husband's return from the voyage, of course, with some gift for his beloved wife, but most importantly, I was firmly convinced that my dear man was not cheating on me, because he was a very decent and honest man. And I held on as best I could with all my weak female forces, I tried not to look at other representatives of the strong half of mankind, which, however, not without difficulty, but managed to me. And I have always been a very hot woman, and to restrain natural desires for me was not an easy task. Therefore, when my sailor appeared on the threshold of the apartment, I pounced on my captain like a tigress, and tormented him in the bedroom literally for 24 hours, so that John was saturated with female warmth for the next languid months of separation. In one of the love swims we and conceived a wonderful daughter. Emma is now 25 years old. She is a mature, self-sufficient woman, a couple of years ago she got married and finally flew out of her parents' nest, leaving me all alone, because by that time I went from being a teacher to an ordinary housewife, receiving from the state a small pension allowance for pocket money, because my husband was still sailing the seas, having become a real sea wolf. My age was steadily approaching 60, and then, guys, it was like a demon had taken up residence in me. In my distant youth, I could endure a few months without a real man, but here, not even a couple weeks later, John had once again proved his love for me, and my insatiable nature demanded a repeat of the love session. It was then, one rainy summer evening, that I thought about cheating for the first time in my life. I was incredibly ashamed. At that moment I had just stepped out of the shower and in the fogged mirror I hardly recognized myself, my cheeks were so hot with passion. As I stretched my beautiful and still firmly bunched body, I realized that I was worthy of more frequent pleasures, and in the presence of an honest woman mistress there was nothing shameful, I loved my husband with all my heart and I was not going to leave. Moreover, the day before, I read in one of the fashion magazines that if adultery without the purpose of finding another life partner, it is not considered as such, because it is just physiology and nothing more. In general, weighing all the pros and cons, I decided to still have a lover, some decent and intelligent young man, one who could withstand my hot temperament at least a few times a week. Since in essence I was a homebody, 
then nothing smarter than to get acquainted with a lover over the internet, I did not think of, good to master the computer forced in his time at the university. I knew from my friends about the existence of many dating sites, of course, it was a lottery and you could meet anyone, even some maniac pretending to be a model family man, but still I decided to try my luck, before that, of course, asking John to forgive me for my future betrayal. I didn't put too much personal information in the form, limiting myself to my age and a hot message, in the style of a married but very lonely lady looking for a permanent relationship with an eloquent, purposeful man. I decided not to post a photo at all, so as not to compromise myself in the eyes of numerous acquaintances. On my call, as soon as the registration on the site was completed, immediately responded 50-year-old man, of course, as without a photo. And no wonder, because he honestly admitted that he is married to a very young spouse. The man loves her without memory, but still looking for adventures on his next head. Everything is good with his wife, but she is too young, and he is so lacking in bed woman mature, juicy and very experienced in lovemaking. Of course, I immediately responded to such a tender message and stopped accepting messages from other applicants, because it's not fair, I'm not a whore to spin novels and give hope to other men when there is already one candidate. He and I started a real virtual romance. Which, however, lasted only a couple of days, because I am a lady impatient, immediately I determined, on one hot correspondence with lines of love lyrics, that this is exactly the type of man I need, so without hesitation appointed my future lover date. We decided not to send each other photos, because in this case the intrigue and adrenaline before the meeting will be just off the charts, and the pleasure of the date will be simply unearthly. However, he swore that Quasimodo he could not, so I'm Snow White, but I need only one dwarf, I wrote back like a schoolgirl. In any case, I took the keys to my friend's empty apartment, who had gone to replenish her tan in the Egyptian desert, prepared a romantic candle at dinner, and waited. At exactly the appointed hour, the front doorbell rang. In impatience I rushed to open, at first seeing only a bouquet of favored roses, but then our eyes with the man crossed, and jaws silently fell at both of them, almost touching the floor. After all, my lover was my son-in-law Mikhail. Silently he walked into the hallway, smiling shyly, as usual, and then finally whispered, terribly embarrassed, Hello, Camila. Well, hello, son-in-law, the only thing I could answer him at that moment, because the thoughts were flashing faster than lightning in my head, hurrying to make the most important decision in my life. For a minute my son-in-law and I stared intently into each other's eyes, and then, joined in a hot embrace, we went in a dance of love to the bedroom, from which we did not leave until the morning. I warned Emma that she had chosen a man too old for her. Even if he was a professor, a medical luminary and a hereditary surgeon, but she was just a simple young nurse, and a grown man is always drawn to a quiet, cozy harbor where he can drop anchor, next to a wise and, most importantly, hot woman. My son-in-law and I made the only right decision that day, because why take risks in search of adventure if our desires coincided? Since then Michael often visits his dear mother-in-law, because practically a lonely woman always needs a little help around the house and not only. And I can always return the favor. Adultery is good. It doesn't count with my son-in-law. Yes, and I saved my daughter from imminent disaster, the man and the eye will not have time to blink, as the poor smart girls laugh, and divorce in the family of my daughter I will not allow. This is a love story between mother-in-law and son-in-law, someone will judge, someone will understand, but the main thing is happiness in the house, and in our family it only added. The internet is an unpredictable thing, you never know who you might meet on the world wide web but this time the surprise was successful, and this is our secret with my son-in-law.